Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to the final video of Triple Grace for today. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is the throne room and the court of heaven. Brothers and sisters, a brother in Christ asks how we can stand before the Father in his throne room and how we can be entering the court of heaven. Brothers and sisters, for the throne room of God, it is a request that you will send with your prayers out to stand before the Father in his throne room. And then this request will either be granted or rejected. But once it is granted, know and understand that during the night when your spirit is free, it will be taken to the throne room and you will experience the most extraordinary scene you have ever experienced. And I know from many testimonies of other brothers and sisters who went there that this experience is not always the same. Now, the question is why? Because it has something to do with the connection, the spiritual connection that your soul has to the kingdom of heaven. That's different. Some people have a very deep, very, very deep connection. They know and understand. They know paradise. They remember that they came from paradise. They, they, they know how they have spoken with the father before they were even placed in the womb of their mothers. So there is something very, very deep spiritual connection. For them, when they go to the throne room, they see much more than what the other people see who have not yet the connection. With a greater connection come a greater view and a, and a greater um, acceptance by the Father who will allow you then to see more. Not all. Of course not all. I think all we will just see when we go through paradise and then stand before the, the Father when he will say, well done, my true and faithful servants. Then you will see it all. But until then, there are still only glimpses of the throne room of God. But it's a wonderful, wonderful light. It's the singing. It is the worshipping that you hear. It is not... Not the face of the Father, but it is his light, his power, his glory, and you are based into that. And then you have the connection, and then you are asked, what do you want? Then you can bring your petition, whatever you have to say. When I go to the throne room, I always start with worshipping. That is, I think it's the best way to do. To acknowledge that he is the only living God, and to acknowledge that he is the creator of it all, and that all the glory belongs to him. And then the time will come when you receive the second question, what do you want? And then you will bring forth your petition, whatever it is. Either you bring it forth for somebody, you bring it forth for your family or for a third party or you bring something forth for the warriors or the harvest workers or whatever's on your mind, even something personally for you. And then a decision will be made by the Father. Many times when I brought a petition before the throne of God, I was then immediately transferred in the blinking of an eye to the court of heaven. And this image that you see here is almost how it is. In the middle, there is a bench for the grumbling, the very stern angel judge. And on the right and left side, there are the stands for the two witnesses. There are always witnesses there. There are always two witnesses there. Because there are, there are not only good things coming to you, but also accusations. And they need to be fostered and, and made clear and perfect by two witnesses. 
and they will be there. So many times when I was in the throne room and I brought forth my request, I was then taken to the court of heaven. And the court of heaven then decides if this thing can be done or not. If I'm worthy that it can be done or not. I remember the time when, when with my, my the first encounters, not the first, first one, but in the process of the first encounters, when I was standing before there and the, the judge said, no, I cannot grant you this favor until you have been cleaned. And then I was taken from the court of heaven into a medical chamber and a big pipe was putting into my arm. And I see dark matter coming out of the arm into a great jar. And when the jar was filled, the, the pipe was removed and the jar was taken for storage. Then I knew I was cleaned. And so the favor was granted, not immediately, but over the next few weeks, the favor was granted. So you cannot just appear in the court of heaven and say, Judge, I want to say something. No, you will go there when the Father, God the Father will decide that you have to stand there. Or that something has to be decided over your life or over your petition that you have brought forth. So the first place would be always the throne room of God. Also, I was taken directly to the court of heaven. Also. That is an, an urgent matter if something very urgent has come up. And something where I have failed greatly. There was a time, for example, when we have not fulfilled the, the two final tasks. I was taken direct to the court of heaven and the angel was very rough with me. And he said, why are you not putting more effort there? You have to fulfill it. And then at the end we fulfilled it, of course. And so it was all done by the power and the glory of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. But usually the way is first the throne room. You worship first, then you make your petition. And then God decide. If the favor can be granted right away, you will be taken back to your linear time. If not, and there must be a decision done in the court of heaven, then you will be immediately transferred over there. I'm telling you, standing before the court of heaven is not an easy task. And is not a joyful occasion. Because that is now a judgment time. This is now where, where many things are coming forth that you do not want to hear. There is a very grumpy angel judge sitting there. And he is not your friend. But he will put the finger into the wounds. He will put the finger where it hurts most. But once all this is settled and, and judgment is done and all is fulfilled, then it is like a burden is taken from your shoulders. So both are working together, brothers and sisters, but you cannot just go direct to the court of heaven yourself. You will be taken there, either directly or through the, court, uh, through the throne room. And to reach the throne room, you need to make a petition, a prayer sent forth that you want to appear there, that you have a petition or that you have something to say or whatever, and then it will be granted to you or not. You cannot force yourself there. You cannot make it happen right now. No, it can happen right now, but it can also take a long time. Remember always that the enemy is trying to interfere with everything. Remember the story of Daniel, where he had to wait 21 days before his prayer was answered. Not because the heaven didn't send the answer right away, but because of the angel of Persia who blocked it. So be patient. Send your petition and wait patiently, knowing that any time in the night your spirit can go. And then also God is deciding if you remember or if you don't. I definitely have moments where I, I see a glimpse or I remember a glimpse, but nothing more. So I know I was there, but the outcome I do not know. So there is something that is maybe not yet I ask maybe for something that is not yet possible or that is not yet in my destiny. And so I will not be able to do that. 
I remember a vision when I was years, years, years back. I saw myself on a path, on a path to ancient ruins. And when I go deeper into through the ancient ruins, I got more knowledge, more understanding. And I saw something that I have never seen before. And then suddenly, a huge lightning strike came direct in front of my feet. <clears throat> and a voice came, you are not allowed to go further. So I always think about this vision. I was not allowed to go further. Most likely because I would have seen something that I, that would have that would have been too much for me at this time. I was not yet in the position to see it or to experience it or to know it. And it came back to memory when here in Cambodia one day with with friends and families I was going to to a place where there is this uh, this temple that is related to the constellation of Drago, the Angkor Wat temple here in Cambodia. And there was a situation that I was not able to enter that place, but that the Lord, I don't know what it did, but it was so that I was so weak, I could not continue to walk. I would not be able to enter that place. And then I said, okay, Lord, I understand. And I went back. I've never seen that place yet. And most likely the Lord said, you are not ready yet. You are not yet the dragon slayer to go inside there. And if you go inside there, the enemy might destroy something that is to be cherished or that is to be protected right now. So I was not able to enter. Nor was I able to enter any other of the, of the uh, uh, enemy temples here in Cambodia. I haven't seen even one. <laughs> so the Lord knows exactly how he is protecting you and how he is stopping you from doing something foolish. Maybe the time will come when I will enter, but then I will be the dragon slayer. Then I will take it down. Sure. But for now, the time was not yet. It was not yet the time for the great harvest. It's not yet the time for the physical manifestation was not yet the time for the mantle of light that I could shine inside there. And so I was not allowed to go. That reminded me of the vision where the lightning strike stopped me. So there are so many things, so many experience that you have with the kingdom of God. But it is your soul that will discern it. And to go back to the, to the topic of the throne room and the court of heaven, First the throne room, and then you will be transferred to the court of heaven sometimes, not always. It depends what your petition is, if it needs a favor, or if it needs a judgment. Maybe you ask for, for healing of a certain person. Then there could be a case in the court of heaven to see if that person is worthy to receive that. If that person is a part of the kingdom, for example, it will be then shown to you. There will be an answer to it. Or it could be your personal life that will come into the open there with witnesses. Whatever it is, do not, I'm telling you, do not reject the judgment that is given there. I have never done this, but I do not want to, to experience the wrath of this grumpy angel judge when you say, no, I do not accept it. Oh, no. It is better you accept the judgment even if it's not in your favor. And there are times when it's not in your favor, when the judge said, no, that petition cannot be granted to you. Cannot. Sometimes, it cannot be granted to you at this moment. Then at least you know maybe in the future it will be. But it all depends on your walk, your standing with the kingdom of God. So when you want to reach the throne room, make, send a prayer out. 
but you need to have something, not just to appear there and say hello. You need to have something, otherwise you will never go to the throne room. The Lord knows. You have some serious things to ask, you will be taken. If you just want to appear there to look around, you will not. So it must be something important that you have to bring forth. For your calling, for example. I give you an example for it. There is a calling that you feel to your soul, your mind and your heart that you have to go maybe to another place. But you are not sure about this. That, for example, could be something that you could ask in the, at the throne room and say, Lord, when shall I go? Now or later when you show me or how, however it is. And then that could bring you to the court of heaven in a certain way. Why, for example, you have to move or whatever the reason is. So, but it must be something that you have to bring forth. Worshipping alone is not the, the reason why you will go to the uh, throne room of God. That you can do through prayers. And that I know you do every day. When you are in contact with the kingdom of God. But it must be something that is related to the harvest, related to your destiny, related to your purpose, or related to people next to you that are also related to the to your destiny and purpose, whatever the case is, that is something that you can bring before the throne room. And no matter if you have go to the court of heaven or not, there are always good and true judgments that are coming forth. You might not accept it in personally in that moment, and you might not see it in that moment, but when you think over it in the next few days, then you will understand that it was a wise de decision at the court of heaven. Brothers and sisters, I hope this helps for you to understand how you can go before the throne room of God and why there is a court of heaven and what the court of heaven is doing. Brothers and sisters, no matter what it is, there are wonderful and perfect experiences that you will have there. It is so amazing even to stand before that judge. So intimidating. Sure, it is. It is, of course. You will be standing there sometimes with trembling. You just look at the face and you see, oh, oh, there is something coming towards you. But it is always the love of the Father that shines through. Every decision is perfect. Everything is made in perfection. And all the glory to the Father, always. It's unfortunately that, you, that we cannot stay longer there and that we do not have this really physical manifestation in, in the throne room, but it is a spiritual one. Of course, we know the heavens is a spiritual place and we know that our God is a spiritual being. Yes, it's true. The physical manifestation is in the linear time, but the court of heaven is not on us. Noah is a throne room, not yet at least. Once when the when you have New Jerusalem comes, then it's a different time, but this is not yet. So it is a spiritual experience. Just ask if you can be taken there, but you must have a serious reason why. Otherwise, you will not go. Brothers and sisters, I hope this blesses you, gives you an understanding, and I pray that many of you will have this experience, this wonderful and perfect experience of standing before the Father in the throne room and also being judged at least one time in the court of heaven. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.